HR reports are used to display important HR metrics, uh, statistics, and insight. And this is usually useful for business decision making. Today on HR Insight, I'm going to be delving into some advanced uh, Excel functionality, talking about pivot table in order to make HR report. Now, in an earlier episode that I created where we were able to look at um, how to use uh, the Excel chatting option to create our uh, HR report, uh, we worked with a simple uh, example like what you're seeing at the moment. Someone asked me a question concerning this particular episode, which is why I'm doing this follow-up episode saying, Shagun, so how did you get the frequency of the age so today i'm going to be using the pivot table functionality in excel to create something close uh to this age i'll break down and be able to create the frequency and also be able to create the excel chart that you can see right about now so i'm sure the question you're going to ask was what's pivot table so pivot table in is an excel functionality that is used for grouping and summarizing data so this particular data that we have uh right now uh we're going to be we worked on it on an earlier episode and we're going to be using pivot table to analyze uh, this particular data to be able to create uh, the report from it now the critical point that you need to recognize in this data uh, the practice file is in the d description of this video now the critical things you need to recognize is this data has been created into an excel table already uh, we've created the age uh, for each of the employees we've created the length of service as well now from this particular data we're going to be creating three different uh, reports in terms of visual reports uh, the three reports is going to be one a workforce age distribution chart uh, a workforce gender distribution and a workforce length of service distribution now from this particular data what we're going to be doing right about now is to use the pivot table functionality in excel now the pivot table functionality in excel help to group and summarize data now how do you activate that function in excel all you need to do is to make sure that your data is in an excel table as you can see at the moment uh, the link to download the practice file is in the description below now once you create it as an excel table you go to the table design functionality in excel and once you toggle to that table function table design functionality you would see it on the right hand corner summarize with pivot table once you click on summarize with pivot table there will be a pop-up window that comes up on your screen once the pop-up window comes up uh, pivot table will ask you a few questions now the first question is going to ask you is i'll uh, select the table for the range at the moment that's already selected uh, because it's using table remember we've converted it to an excel table already then it asks you is it going to come from a new worksheet all you need to do is to say yes uh, just click ok then a new workbook would open up for you now once the new workbook is open all you need to be uh, concerned with at the moment is the pivot table fields uh, remember this is coming from the main data which is already uh this is the main data then the new pivot table fields open up now what we're about to use is the pivot table report functionality in excel now the things you need to get familiar with is your pivot table fields now your pivot table fields is speaking from the original data so you have employee id gender ird date of birth and every other thing corresponding to the header role of the data that you're working with then you need to get familiar with the fields the fields in pivot table uh the ones we're going to be using for this particular uh, report is the rows and the values field now remember the question the question says create the workforce age distribution already from the original data we have it as age already calculated now what you're going to do is to drag uh the age uh, in your data drag it to rows now what would typically happen in that scenario is that our uh, pivot table would uh, bring in all the age functionality 
uh, that is in your data you can see that it is from 28 to 59 based on the data that we're working with so once we've dropped all of that age in order to know what are the unique age for each of the employees drag the employee id to values and what would happen at that point is that pivot table will count the numbers of employees within the age that is being displayed now remember what we are trying to do we want it to give us the group of ages in the data set that we are working with now that takes you to the next pivot table functionality which you're going to use now all you need to do is to click on the rows uh, where all the age are you click on it and you will see the functionality called group so once you click on it you will now see the functionality called group now at the moment once you use the functionality called group what you would see is pivot table asking you for some additional information now you have ages from 28 to 59 now how are we going to do the classification already it is classifying by 10 if you click it as it if you click it as it is what you would what you would notice is that pivot table has done the classification of the ages uh 28 to 37 38 to 47 48 to 57 and 58 to 67 and all of that has been created and the numbers of employees that fall within those age group has also been created uh, you've done this as a pivot table you now need to use the pivot chart functionality in excel all you need to go is to go to analyze uh, once you toggle to analyze you will see pivot chart once you click on pivot chart once you click on pivot chart you will see all the charting functionality that is available in excel this time around this particular pivot chart is tied to the pivot table the pivot table is tied to the da main data that you are working with now if this looks like what you want to illustrate you click ok and what you would discover at this point is that all of that data has now been represented for you the data that you now have now shows all the data within the main report itself and all i need to do at this time is i'll toggle through and say hide all field buttons on charts and um, i'll take away the delete uh, the totals rule and i will relabel this as workforce age distribution and there you have it uh you have the workforce age distribution all broken down for you into the various age uh, age group that you have now if you don't want it to be created this way in terms of it's in a, in a factors of 10 all you need to do is to go back uh, to that same chart right click uh once you right click once you right click on that same data you would go back to group and it can change what it is showing so all you need to do is to change this to say five groups of five and you enter you what you will notice is that that has also changed the age groups that you are dealing with meaning it is breaking in further for you now what you're seeing at the moment what you're seeing at the moment is using the pivot table functionality to create uh the age distribution there are some other further things that you can do uh you can as well use if statement in excel to break the age into the demo into the various groups that you want or age demographics that you want and use pivot table to create the same chart that you can see at the moment so if i uh, want to create for the other ones let me just renew uh rename this as age uh, i can do a quick duplication of that chart and let me rename this as gender and all i need to do is to do some drag and drop uh, at the moment what i would do now is uh, the charting functionality is out again 
and all i need to do now is use remove age yeah then drop gender i can now drop gender into rows and what you see is now giving me female and male uh input now all i need to do at this time is to go back i can change the charts to a donut chart or a pie chart whichever one i like and what you will see now is i can rename this as employee gender distribution i can toggle to activate the legend for each of the data i can do some further edits by going to design and enabling it to show percentage on the chart itself and i can rename uh, the labels uh, change it to white such that it's more visible on the chart so that's your gender age distribution if i copy this also again i can duplicate that pivot chart this time around i want to do that of length of service because those are the three things that we are required to do so that of length of service uh, all i need to do is to change uh, the functionality in pivot the pivot table fields all i need to do is to remove gender and this time around i will put length of service on the rows and what you're seeing is showing the length of service but this time around it's showing it because i used the pivot chart last now in order to make it look similar to what i did earlier I'll so in order to make it look like uh grouped into the various lengths of service all i need to do is to click here then it brings up the functionality for me to group then i can determine is between 7 and 25 i want you to do groups of three or groups of five and i click ok and what you will see is that it has grouped that into groups of five seven to eleven twelve to uh, twelve to sixteen seventeen to twenty one twenty two to twenty six now all i need to do now is to change the chart type i'll just right click on the chart itself and this time around i would use a different charting option change chart type i want to use a bar chart this time around i will click the bar chart and all i need to do is to change workforce length of service distribution so this now gives me an idea that what it shows me is that uh the employees within this data set we have uh seven to nine being the is followed by 12 to 16 17 to 21 and 22 to 23 that for that of gender you will see that the gender distribution shows male 66 percent female 34 percent and the age distribution gives me between 28 to 20 uh the largest employees uh is clearly between 28 to 12 then followed by 43 to 47 years this is giving you an example of how you can use the pivot table functionality in excel to create your report now after you've created this report you can now take it into uh microsoft word or powerpoint to pre to make your presentation if you have any question remember to drop it in the comment section below and download the practice file as well see you in the next episode